Hello, I'm Luke Singleton and welcome to Spark Recruitment's Illuminate interview series. As an IT recruitment specialist, we're lucky to partner with a number of high profile IT employers in the Australian market. We get exposure to their groundbreaking work. In this series, we'll be showcasing the story behind their success. I'm delighted to be joined today by Ronnie Altit, CEO and co-founder of Incentra, who are a unique IT services business. In today's interview, we're going to be focusing on the theme, Dare to be Different. Welcome, Ronnie. Thanks very much, Luke. It's great to be here. Ronnie, you've had a stellar career within the IT industry. Could you introduce who Incentra are and what makes you different? Yeah, sure. Look, Incentra is a IT professional and managed services organisation. Um, what makes us different, and, and our whole motto has been Dare to be Different, um, and what makes us different is the way we go to market. So contrary to a lot of other IT organisations out there, the way we go to market is via those organisations. So we don't transact direct with any end users, we will only ever transact via a third party into those end users. So what does that really mean? It means that we can be there to augment or be the skills for the resellers in the market who don't have those skills or who need the additional skills in an absolutely non-competitive fashion. Well, which is a really unique model. It's very unique in the IT industry, yes. Congratulations. Ronnie, one of the key things that we've experienced over the last few years in partnering with Incentra is that candidates become genuinely excited about the business. Could you share some insights as to why you feel that is? Yeah, I think a large part of it comes down to the interview process, obviously, and everybody in the interviews as they come through hear the same message. There's a consistency across the business. We run an analogy through the business, which is that we're like a steam train, and each and every person in the business understands that steam train and what it means. And we've built a really strong culture. And the way we've done that is really quite simple. We've looked at all of the things that people like about working in office environments and we've made those so. We've looked at all of the things that people don't like and everybody doesn't like the same things. So we look at those things and we don't do those. And then the things that we're not sure about, we work our way through. So they hear a consistency through the interview and that's why I think they get excited. Ronnie, in Centre we were recently ranked as eighth place in the under 100 employees Great Places to Work survey. What were some of the reasons for that? Look, I think it comes down to, and we were very proud of that award. Um, you know, it's a staff survey is the majority of that award. And I think one of the things that comes down to it at its core is that we build a culture of trust. And when we, we work very, very hard on culture. So for me as the CEO of the business, our number one focus is our people. My number one focus is our people. And it's not rhetoric, it's fact. So we very much have you know, policies and things in place like an open door policy. Anyone can come and talk to anybody in the leadership team at any time about anything. They can escalate without fear of negative consequence. Making sure that at any given time, they're always got their, we always have their best interests at heart and are trying to address the things that they need addressed to make it a great place to work. Which is awesome to hear. And again, you're in a high growth business and when you go through high growth, culture can get diluted. How as a leadership group do you maintain that? Yeah, look, I think culture is built from the top, but it permeates from the bottom. So what we've tried to do is put in strategies throughout the business to help the culture help itself. So for example, one of those examples is anytime there's a meeting of three or more people in the business, it starts with one question, which is how are you? And the answer is based on two things. It's one to 10, how are you personally? And one to 10, how are you in the business? So that gives everybody in the meeting an immediate understanding of how people are faring in their personal lives because that has an impact on their work. And it's important to understand that about each other. And then it also lets us know straight away how people are faring as it relates to the business. So that's one example. You know, we have another one where we call it the pebble in the shoe. Don't walk around the company with a pebble in your shoe. That'll turn into a blister. That'll make it really uncomfortable for you. Come and talk to us when it's a pebble. Let us try and shake the pebble out and let's try and make it better. And everybody tries to see everybody else with the pebbles. And then another thing we do is we catch people who are doing the right thing. So we try to make everybody in the company a better version of themselves. So rather than berate people when they make mistakes, we actually encourage them to learn from those mistakes and to be able to be better in the future. So there are a few of the things that we do to help the culture help itself. Yeah, which is, again, some fairly simple things, but actually hard to execute. Mm. Look, it, it's not as hard to execute as you think, um, so long as you have consistency across the organisation. And that's where our train analogy brings everyone together onto the same page. Fantastic. Ronnie, Incentra are a true B2B business with a twist. Could you explain to us what that twist is? Yeah, that twist is really the way we transact, the way we go to market. So we are 100% partner obsessed, we call it. And so the partners of the resellers, they're our clients and we do work for their clients. 
So we are absolutely obsessed with delivering service excellence to our partners and to their clients, and we're absolutely obsessed with making sure we always and only transact through the partners so that we're 100% non-competitive to the channel market. Which is fantastic, and obviously that's been very successful which is evidenced through the growth that you guys have achieved so far in, in quite a short period of time. So obviously congratulations for your successes in Centra. I know that you're a passionate mentor within the IT industry um, to people outside of the Centra organisation. Um, it's a, one of my favourite questions in, in when I sit in front of an IT leader. What are the three bit, bits of advice you could give uh, aspiring IT professionals in today's market? Um, I'd start with owning your own career. So you own your career. Don't expect that people are going to give you things on a silver platter. Don't expect that they're going to make things happen for you. You own your career. You decide how you make it happen and you work with your management in your organisation to do so. So that would be the first thing that I would encourage people to do. Second thing I would encourage people to do is to always act with honesty and integrity and to build solid relationships. Certainly it's really about who you know and the relationships you have. So always maintain those outstanding relationships would be the second thing that I would recommend. And the third thing is don't be the smartest person in the room. Actually know that it's okay to say, I don't know. So long as you follow that up immediately with, I'll find out for you. Yeah. Ronnie, there's some fantastic insights. Um, I really appreciate your time today. And it's obviously been fantastic to see your business grow. Congratulations for that. And uh, I'm delighted that we've been able to spend this time together today. Thank you very much. No, thanks Luke. And look, we really value our relationship together with your organisation and you always find us fantastic candidates. So it's, it's been a pleasure having this relationship with you since we've started our business. Great stuff. Thanks, Ronnie. Cheers.